As fast as the tickets are being put together, they are sold. The north side for Chase the Ace draw is down to just two cards. They are the hottest tickets in town right now. Wherever you go, you go to the grocery stores, you go to the corner stores, the gas stations, wherever they're selling tickets, you see people buying them and you get people stopping on the street saying, how do I get tickets? How do I get tickets? Where do I get tickets? So it's, it's pretty exciting. Demand is so high, a bigger drum was rolled into the Northern Yacht Club today. The old one too small to hold the large amount of tickets sold for next week's draw. And that's not the only challenge organizers faced. We had to get more tickets and uh, once we ordered the tickets, they didn't come in until uh, Wednesday, this Wednesday. We did have a few in, but not enough to cover what we expect to sell. The estimated jackpot is $340,000, but people here today think it will be a lot more. And it's not only the winner cashing in, the fundraiser helps support six local groups in the community who will get 20% of the proceeds. It allows us to purchase healthier food for one thing, and uh, you know, we wouldn't be able to do that without cash. One of the groups benefiting is the North Sydney Food Bank. The number of people using the service has increased in just the last couple of months because of the high cost of food. Right now we're averaging about 175 family units a month, but we're seeing a lot more seniors now than we have been in the last years. The money will also help restore a small piece of Second World War history in Sydney Mines. Gary Gallup, the chair of the Atlantic Memorial Park Society, hopes the draw continues until the final card. Buy as many as you can. <laughs> we have no problem with it. And don't be sad if it doesn't go this week, because next week it's one card and it'll definitely go then. <laughs> so we're hoping on that too. Craig Ivey agrees. He is the man who will pick the winning ticket out of the drum, and he is a marked man because of it. I don't know how many people I see on the streets and they're hollering, Craig, I will draw my name out this week or make sure my name, I'm looking for a retirement. The big draw is Wednesday, May 15th. Kyle Moore, CBC News, North Sydney.